Good morning, friends. I pray wherever in the world you are right now that the next two minutes are a blessing to you so you can be the blessing to the people the Lord has put in your life today. So do you want to hear a good story? I um, I ran into a mom who I met like a decade ago in a mom's group that I was attending. And she told me that she ran into another woman who was at our table and that this woman had just come alive in her faith um, in the past couple years. And she was just thanking this uh, other woman who clearly is some sort of mutual friend and telling her that attending this group 10 years ago or more, or more, it was definitely more, um, was just a turning point in her life because she had never met other mothers who prayed and who had a relationship with the Lord and kind of shared their life with her. And this was just the start of her journey of faith in the Lord. And this other mother (laughs) then came to me to tell me this story because um, I was at the time just kind of like a little table leader of a of the group and she's like oh did you remember this person I said oh yeah I did and um how's she doing and then she told me the story about how this woman's faith had just blossomed and I was thinking to myself that um I was such a bugger about this group I was so tired when the kids were little and um and sometimes I just didn't want to get dressed and I didn't want to leave the house because you know it's one more thing to do and and I would do it because I had signed up because here's the deal like I if I sign up for something, I, I don't want to let people down. So I would go, but I didn't have a good attitude about it a lot of the time. Um, however, what, what I would do is I would pray for everybody at that table. And it was really just for that year, like I would pray for them. And then I, I lost touch with most of these people. And I was just thinking to myself, you know, even though I may let people down because I am human and I can't keep up with the various demands and relationships I've got going on. The Lord does not let down or let go. And I was just thinking to myself how wonderful it is that um, that the Lord sought her. And I also thought how wonderful it is that the Lord used even my grumpy obedience Um, for his glory. So I don't know what it might be for you today. If it's getting up and going to a Bible study you don't really want to go to, or if it's making a meal you don't really want to do, or, or whatever it is, serve the Lord. Choose to serve the Lord today because he will take your little tiny offering and he will multiply it for his glory. So here's my verse, Philippians 1, 3. I thank God every time I remember you. And I'm thankful today. So I pray that you would uh, you would also see your efforts multiplied through the grace of the Lord as you go out or stay in today. Be the blessing. Till next time, Katie.